It is time, Game Bears, for some more Mega Man X4 the Zero playthrough, and we're here for part four to go to the final weapon and see what happened to Iris. Where did she go? Ready. Well, why don't we get through this little stage here and find out? And I'm just taking damage from these missiles while we're at it. Yeah, all right. All right, thankfully, thanks to the large hitbox of Zero Saber, I can hit that guy from afar. I can do the same here, too. I know you guys are probably screaming my screen. You could use the fire slash, and here it is there. I simply didn't want to use it back there, and now I use it here. Now, who lies beyond this gate? I think you can all guess. You can probably all guess. <laughs> And hey, there's Best Girl. Just staring at a crystal, which actually, that happens to be her brother, Colonel's. Uh, what am I call it? Energy crystal, or whatever the hell it is. Iris. So, you fought my brother. I'm sorry. Well, guess what? That's what you get. And now, because you didn't listen, Best Girl hates you. Good job. Hey, uh, Aaron, how are you doing today? Then, it's over. Everything. It's over. Everything. Wait, Iris, listen to me. Goodbye, Zero. Iris, look what you did to Best Girl, man. How, how, why'd you kill her brother, dude? I mean, technically that was me. Wait, is it my fault that Best Girl's turning against us? Oh no, I'm doing just fine. Stay with me, brother. Now I want you to all listen to her battle thing. This is an awesome thing. That was my fault there. Anyways, I probably should stop hitting her herself. This is an amazing theme, that's why I like it. Alright, I'm gonna purposely die here because I want to showcase something. Because, if you noticed, I kept wailing on her uh, robotic body there. As wrong as that sounds, that's screwed. Anyways, uh, and that popped out Colonel's Crystal. Now, I want to show this and just now uh, watch myself just get beaten up and whatnot. After this little scene is over. Stay with me, brother. Oh, and you're for the Reggie team. Anyways, if Zero takes enough damage. Yeah, just shoot him with shoot me with the laser beam. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, just taking enough damage out here. This might take a little bit. She will eventually pop out Colonel's Crystal, allowing you to damage her. Now, her weakness is Ryunjin, as of showing right here. However, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword, kind of like in Double's fight when you use your weakness, since that also hits her, causing all these drones to spawn. And you gotta be careful when she shoots out those laser beams as well. There is a nice way to time it, though, so you don't get hit by either of those lasers that she can shoot out. And I just died there. Alright, for realsies now. I've pretty much shown everything I want to show about this fight. You've seen everything, you've heard the themes, you've heard the god-awful voice acting. Let's do this for real now. It's easy to open the gates. If you don't know, you can simply just look them up. Even though Reggie Steel is easily the most, uh, difficult one to understand. I'm just gonna keep wailing on her over and over again. Probably would be best to save that fire slash right after. There we go. She ejects the crystal. Oh, my geez. Move out of the way just before she shoots at the cannon. There's some timing you gotta get used to for that as well. Get away from me, Iris. And you can even use his double jump to get a little bit of range off if you'd like. Yeah, 
Oh shit, I messed up the timing. Frick. Eh, it doesn't matter. And she's down. And now we got a whole cutscene to watch. And I think you all know this cutscene well. Iris. Iris. Sarah. Hang in there, Iris. Please, stay away from Replifoss. Let's live together. In a world where only Reploids exist. Iris, there's no world just for Reploid. It's only a fantasy. Yes, I know, but I wanted to believe it. I wanted to live in a world where only Reploids exist, with you. Iris! Oh. Iris! 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 Ah! Alright everybody, say it with me now. <laughs> WHAT AM I FIGHTING FOR?! <laughs> I had to do it. I had to freaking do it. <laughs> See, look what you did, Zero. You just killed Best Girl. Now you don't know what you're fighting for. Good job, man. You deserve it. <laughs> anyway. oh, Anyways. Zero just has the freaking trauma of his life and you'll never be the same again. We'll go through this stage here. All right, you know what? This isn't this question of the day isn't technically a question of the day, but I want everyone right now, I don't care if it's nighttime or anything, to scream so loud. <laughs> or I guess this could be implemented as a question. How loud do you think you could scream? What am I fighting for? <laughs> oh man, I wish I could duck in this game. That would have been easy to dodge. But that was until X5, I believe. Get out of my way. And we go through this short thing here. And oh boy, who's behind this um, gate? Oh, why? It's General. I didn't know you were in this story. You barely showed up. <laughs> General, many died because of you. Those lives are on your conscience. Independence always has a high price. What about Iris? You killed- <laughs> Okay, did you forget her? I have no regrets. Come on, Zero, stop being a simp. She never loved you in the first place. That's why you should have listened to her. It was our you destiny fucking simp. to fight. Why did you kill best girl? I mean, I didn't say that. Okay, this fight, if you're playing as Zero, obviously it would be slightly harder with him because unlike X, you can't just cling to the wall and blast him over and over again. And because those ending jets on General's fists actually damage you, it's really hard to get up and close with them. It makes this fight honestly a lot more annoying than it has to be. Though if he does if you do cling to the wall fast enough, you can hit his head like this. Which I think is the preferred way to fight him if you're playing a zero. Which there's no way for me to get under that without getting damaged, so I can't do it. And I'd argue this fight is even more boring with zero. Just because, again, you gotta constantly wait for him to actually get close to the wall so you don't take inevitable damage from these uh, projectiles he'll shoot at when you try to get close to his head. So, probably the worst fight in the game if you're playing a zero. But thankfully, his fist doesn't damage you if you slide into it as you're damaging his head. Also, I didn't know you could just go through the floor like that. That doesn't seem like you should be able to do that. He just floats in the same pose over and over again. It's a little dumb. And then you can't even hit me from there. What are you trying to hit, General? What are you trying to hit, huh? What are you hitting? Nothing. Not, not a damn thing. Alright, he's almost down. Yep, this is the best way to fight him. And I'm, I'm laying on top of him. Why, why am I on top of him? <laughs> Oh, and he magically teleports to the right. Okay. What is this? 
What happened? No, this weapon can't be working. General, what's wrong? Someone else is controlling it. Then, Earth's in grave danger. I must be, it must be stopped. I'll handle this. Gee, I wonder who that might be. I'm gonna continue without saving. And we're just randomly back in the HQ. Zero totally doesn't have freaking PTSD after killing his girlfriend. Wait, is that Beyblade reference? Name it a right, you go. Beyblade, let it rip. Let's all play some Beyblade, man. Actually, I'm a Beyblade right here. Spinning. Alright, and now, as a lot of people say, we're in the boss graveyard. And why don't we start off with whoever's in here? I've got zero lives anyway, so if I die, who cares? And it's Web and Spider. You know, your friendly neighborhood, Web Spider. And now that we have the double jump, this fight should be a lot more bearable than it was before. Though I doubt I'd be able to hit him with his weakness. From up there, that is. I used to watch that all the time back in elementary school. I miss that. Daff! Oh, come on! Yes, you missed, you fool. Alright, get a second hit in. And dodge his web. There we go. And now we're on to the second phase. I can't damage him here, as you all noticed. And I already ranked these bosses in X's playthrough. And they're pretty much the same hero, then you've got to take a slightly different approach in fighting them. And no armor upgrades either. No! Yeah. Ah! You fool. And he's dead. Down goes the friendly neighborhood spider. Yes, it was actually very good. I remember watching it all the time back when I was in elementary school. I think around the same time, it was either the Gen 5 Pokemon anime was just coming out. I believe so, actually, yeah. Yeah, you know the season of Pokemon anime nobody liked? Bell Fusion character. I, d I do uh, subscribe to a channel where I watch them all the time. Now, if we're talking specifically Metal Fusion, oh, let's see, if I were to list out every character, oh boy, it's the worst speed boss in the game anyways. Actually, this is a good time to showcase that weakness. He's weak to re-engine for whatever reason is zero, so at least it gives him a bit of a weakness, but anyways, that's slightly off topic from your question. All right, now let me name all the characters. You got Jing, ow. You got Jingo, you got uh, Kenta, I can't take his name seriously. <laughs> Because it kind of sounds like, excuse my language, Gunta. I, I can't take that seriously. <laughs> and he kind of is like the Wally of Beyblade, I swear. I continue. I gotta refight the friendly neighborhood spider again. Let's see, got Madoka. I really like her design. I mean, I don't sip over Madoka nearly as much as most, but yeah. But anyways, uh, trying to remember. There's Akari. Jing this goofy dad, Ryuga himself. The Dark Nebula dude, I forgot. Oh yeah, Doji, I believe that was his name. The leader of the Dark Nebula organization. You got a dude named Sora. Yeah, uh-huh. Kingdom Hearts have an ass. I remember Reggie, the guy with the snake. You asshole. God, that look, did you see how much that did? Oh my god. Calm down, dude. Uh oh. <laughs> Hit me with that three times. Okay. Alright, dodge this. Try and dodge this. Ah, okay, he's completely immune to that. Mm hmm. How many times did I get hit by that? God, jeez, dude. Alright, at least I can wail on him from here. Fuck you. That was always my biggest gripe with with uh, Magma Dragoon. Because at least as X, you got the range to kind of see his attacks coming, but as Zero, man, he's just too quick. 
no telegraphs on his attacks. It almost seems like the game expects you to just instantly dodge it, which a lot of people claim makes it very fun to fight him. But for me, it comes off as a little annoying, but not in a terribly bad way, I guess. Well, that one's at least telegraphed. And if he could duck in this game, this fight would be a lot easier. Just from that attack alone. Oh my god. At least I can hit him from back here while he's doing that. And his little meteor storm attack. He's got his own meteor storm. That I didn't get hit by, but that was useless for you. Well, that's enough. Perfect. Oh, yes, Banking. Oh, yes, and his childhood crush over Key. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah those, those two as well. There's some halfway decent characters. You can't deny that. The dank bull. And that motherfucker massive, he's like eight feet tall. But anyways, try to remember most of the other characters. I can't quite remember them too well. Has yeah, still dodged your web. I remember that as well, yeah. The man, the dark uh Dark Nebula organization, I just said that before. But we're specifically only talking about Metal Fusion. So we can't talk about anyone from Metal Masters or Metal Fury. Like that, uh, Masamune dude. If anyone remembers him. I've seen it in Nexus playthrough before, but Web Spider definitely reminds me of a Bow Spider from X1, just in a better way. This fight is way better than that fight will ever be. I don't care what anyone says. If I hit him with weakness, ah, fuck it, it doesn't matter. There are a lot of one-off characters in Beyblade as well, more so than in Pokemon, I'd argue. Even if it had way less episodes compared to the Pokemon anime, but still. I just wait for him to appear over and over again and just spam your up attack. That's all you gotta do. And we all, and you know what we all call this in the Mega Man community? The, what was it called? Uh, Spark Mandrill Syndrome. That's right. Literally, he can't do anything to me. Honestly, how this fight should be. So, as zero, this gets a 10 out of 10 for me because fuck you, uh, Cyber Peacock, you suck. Even though your weapon also kinda sucks. And that 10 out of 10 was a complete joke, it's a more 5 out of 10. Just because of that. Better with 0 than with X. I don't remember who that one is. Alright, and here's just Sting Boy. We can freeze him to death. And also noticeably easier with the dump, never mind. Haha, <laughs> frozen. Okay, how did I not hit him just now? And it seems like every time I hit him with that, he'll just fly upward. Oh my. Instantly. No telecraft on that. Just instantly goes into it. Also, I'm constantly. Really? What was that just now? Oh my.
Oh my. Ugh. Not even paying attention. Those boys. All right, she did beat him. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's time to fight these guys again for like the third time. <laughs> and that's why no one likes you, Cyber Peacock. In my opinion, he just does too much damage. <laughs> Even if you're playing as Armored X, just does too much damage. It's probably one of the main reasons why I don't like him. And he'll literally pop up right next to you, not barely give you any time to really run away. So you gotta at least more safely hit him, instead of just going, oh no, I've been blindsided. And he's gone. Just like that, he's gone. I really don't remember which character you're talking about. Someone who had her mother being very ill in the hospital? I don't remember who you may be talking about there. And he goes into the trees, and there. At least Web Spider has a telegraph on there. Not like Magma Dragoon just instantly hits you. Ah, that worked. Alright, in second phase already. Nice, man. I don't remember that group's name particularly. The only thing that I remember from is just Ben K and Kiyoya. That's it. That's all I remember. Let's, let's try a different boss. Where's Frosty Walrus? Frosty Walrus totally not like Mr. Floss. And look at that right door I guessed correctly. Just like Mr. Flosty from Kirby. Yeah, I said Flosty, not Frosty. Flosty's his real name, but this ain't a Kirby vid, so who cares? See if I can damage him real fast before he hits the wall. And just like before, he is weak to re-engine. Easy weakness to guess. Oh boy, he's an ice elemental. Of course he'll be weak to fire, which... Not every Mega Man game, an ice-themed boss is weak to, uh, a fire weapon. Like, take, uh, well... Maybe I'll use a classic series example. Uh, what am I called? Like Cold Man and Mega Man in base. He's weak to, to Lightning Bolt, which is Dynamo Man's weapon, for example. When there is a fire themed weapon in that game, being Wave Burn. This isn't the game where that really applies, as you can see right here, but that'll be in a future X game we can always talk about. But now Frost Walrus Boy is down. And that's three bosses down, only five more to go. And let's take on Magma Dragoon, but this time, uh, y'all didn't see that. Just want to move it along, is all. And he starts out with that attack. If Hyper Beam or a Fire type move, everybody.
I don't think that kick attack is too fast. Just I feel like at least with zero, there's no really. I was about to say there's no good way to dodge it, but I just dodged it. And notice how I take a lot less damage in uh, that mode. Oh boy, he's using Meteor Storm. And I'm standing in lava. <laughs> I swear to frick if I die because of that. Yeah, Hikari, or Hikaru, not Hikari. Yeah, that was her, alright, that's who I was talking about earlier. And take myself off of that, y'all didn't see nothing. I'll go in this door next. Uh, let's see, Split Mushroom. Let's see if I guessed correctly. Yep, that's Split Mushroom. And we all know this man's moves up from the second episode, I believe, or was it my first episode? Yeah, I don't remember. Alright, let's just dodge his magical clones. I'd like to go up here first. I did not want to do that dash. Thankfully, the double jump allows me to get a little extra damage off of him. Gotta watch out for that poisonous cloud. He does spawn when you hit him. Oh no, I lost the real one. I don't normally do that. Then again, I wasn't really paying attention to who the real one was. Also, I didn't want to do that air dash. Again. Ah, uh, frick. Oh, wait, I got him. I thought I was going to get hit there, but I didn't. And Split Mushroom is down, and this time without rookie mode. I don't remember that part, actually. It has been a bit since I watched either Metal Fusion, Metal Fury, or Metal Masters. Actually, now that you bring it up, maybe after this I should go watch that. But there are there are other videos to be made. Speaking of which, Aaron, have you seen my um Wi-Fi battle video from last week? I was supposed to have this video done yesterday, I got a little lazy. <laughs> And it's Slash Beast Boy. I've come back a lot stronger, Slash Beast. Yeah, I was just saying. You, see, you did say you were watching my Wi Fi battle videos before, so. Another one right there, you can watch it if you want it. That's all. Alright, that was his weapon, so it's natural that he is immune to that. All right, he hasn't really done any physical attacks yet, or close range attacks. Uh oh, don't want to fall for the counter. All right, just wait for you to get done with that. Fire slash. All right, he's almost down, and he's down for the count. Well, that's okay if you notice some five minutes later. That's no big deal. All right, there's only three left, if I remember correctly. Oh no, only two left. All right, so who were they again? Not just Stern, I already took him down. Ah, no wasting time. Let's just get in here. Oh yeah, just Stern, right? <laughs> And just to get this moving a little faster, y'all didn't see me just put myself on there. Ah, that joke's getting old. And it definitely won't be the last time I make that joke in future X Games. And there goes Jet Stingray again. All 
And as I fly out of the freaking water pool. All right, one final boss. Who is it? Oh yeah, the way his glasses go. Isn't that a common thing in animes? That happens in animes all the time. And our final enemy is Storm Owl. Go over here, Owl boy. Ah, still hit you. All right, just in case he tries to hook you in with his attack. I dodged it. Ah, I hit you with your weakness, you loser. And I've stated this Nexus playthrough before. Ow. He does so much damage sometimes. I just go over here, we're nice and safe, and I can still hit him too. Right, thankfully his weakness does do a sizable amount of damage to him. Oh no. Oh! I died. Anyways, let's try that again. I just realized my uh, weapon instantly re the one weapon he has, instantly refills as he's dead. Which, in most Mega Man games, isn't the most balanced thing. Alright, and he's already at about a third of his- or two-thirds of his HP? Ah, of course I get hit by that. Not like there's much room to really dodge that. Alright, got two hits off on him as he's running away. Uh-oh. And we simply double jump over that. You missed, loser. And I still hit you. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, she's a mother now. Since when? They never... I mean, they grew up a lot, but they're still the main protagonists in Metal Masters. I don't remember them having children. And anyways. But with all that said and done, and for some reason my weapon tank filled up as my energy filled up. Weird, but okay. But well, we are here. And boy, I wonder who that is. Ah, that joke's old. We all know it's Sigma. Hehehe. <laughs> Good job, Zero. You're... Sigma? Dude, why are you saying that like you've never seen Sigma before? So what was you? Hehehe. <laughs> yes, I'm brilliant. You even defeated Colonel and Best Girl, your own girlfriend. How does it feel, you fucking cuck? You made me do it! <laughs> no, you wanted to destroy them, you maverick. Allow me to remind you that I was once the leader of the Maverick Hunters. <laughs> Really? What is he talking What's about? Current situation? Commander! Where's that red maverick that wiped out Gamma's unit? In, inside. He's inside that door. You may leave now. I'll take care of this personally. By yourself, Commander? I don't want any more of my people being sacrificed. This is when Zero and Sigma first meet. Apparently Sigma used to be a good guy before going rogue. Yeah, yeah Zero, you can't punch anybody for your shit, dude. Though, this does look pretty impressive for our PS1 game. Zero, you can't hit anybody, dude. Take some boxing classes, also reused animation. Mm, you got too plexed. And tossed into the wall, Mega Man 7 reference. Oh no, he got a crowbar, man, he's dangerous. Yo, my man Zero needs to take some boxing classes. He can't hit anything. Dude, 
I guess he just got another crowbar because that last one got thrown away. And that Z-Saber that we all know and love Zero having? It was originally Sigma's. As this cutscene proves right here. And Zero actually got one good shot off of him. Also, shouldn't the sword go back to its normal state? Eh, maybe not. He gets one good hit on you, Sigma, and you're cowering in fear. No, he has the virus implanted in him. Oh, now he's kicking his ass. Damn, son. Also, uh, the shading kind of made him look like Black Zero there for a sec. And now a Wily symbol implanted in his head, in case he malfunctions like he's doing now. Which gives Sigma the perfect opportunity to throw a haymaker right in his skull. He could have done that earlier in the fight. Also, epilepsy. Thank you for that. Look, it's Commander Sigma. Incredible. Now I'm certain there's no one who's a match for the commander. What? Take that red bag. I lost my arm, boys. You're gonna have to give me a new one. Oh, Someone's Dr. driving me home. I wish to have that maverick studied. <sighs> commander, are you okay? Silence. Did that say Zero rushing to, ma to, to uh, find a weapon? Okay, why are you asking that like it's a question? You knew he was a maverick, you idiot. What? You just showed us the freaking cutscene. Why is that being? Why is that a question? Anyways, Zero, you were a maverick. I didn't know that, even though I was the first one to find you in that cave. What's your point, huh? Are you that surprised? <laughs> Zero just talking for the whole audience. Uh, Zero. You're most impressive. Sigma, I will defeat you. No, you won't. You're losing. Get see me through that door. Alright, yeah, we'll see you through that door in the final episode since we've done quite a bit here. Anyways, tune in for our finale literally in like five minutes as of me uh, recording this. That we shall take down Sigma yet again. This getting a little more than anybody else but me. I don't know. Anyways, if you all enjoyed this and you want to see more, please leave it a like, comment, subscribe, and follow. Do whatever you need to do to support the channel. Hit one of the videos you see on screen right now and that bell button for more. And especially thank you to Aaron for joining me once again. Thank you everybody for watching. And we'll be right